Hallelujah. What a glorious day in the presence of the Lord. Beloved, if you are joining this program for the first time, this is High Voltage Prayer Program. And this program has been a midnight program, and this program covers two days. To one of today's group, cover today the 18th day and the 19th day. Take a time and pray this prayer very, very well. You can also send it to your friend. Let them also participate in this prayer. Uh, we appreciate all the testimony we have received. And we want to thank the Almighty God for answering our prayer. Beloved, remember, the more you pray, the more you discover secrets. And the more you discover secrets, the more you have capacity to recover. And the more you recover, the more you begin to possess your possession. And the more you possess your possession, the more you begin to manifest gloriously. It is high time for men and women to rise up and pray. We need men who can pray and pray situation into normal. We need to call upon the Lord to intervene in our matter. And I know that as we pray together, the Lord will visit your case. The Lord will visit the case of this uh, of your family. The Lord will visit the case of the nation in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. We are now ready to possess our possession through this prayer. I pray that God will give you the, uh, the strength to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Confess any sin that can obstruct you from receiving from the Lord. Father, we confess any sin in our life that can obstruct us from receiving from you. Have mercy on us and forgive us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I hold the blood of Jesus against every satanic attack in the name of Jesus. I hold the blood of Jesus against every satanic attack. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus against every satanic attack. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, every satanic rearrangement of my destiny scatter in the name of Jesus. Every satanic rearrangement of my destiny scatter in the name of Jesus. Every satanic rearrangement of my destiny scatter in Jesus' name, we pray. Say, satanic dream and their consequences. You will not see the light of the day. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Satanic dream and their consequences. You will not see the light of the day. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Satanic dreams and their consequences. You will not see the light of the day. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Satanic dream and their consequences. You will not see the light of the day. Scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Say every evil power. Having negative awareness of my destiny be destroyed in the name of jesus every evil power having negative awareness of my destiny be destroyed in the name of jesus every evil power having negative awareness of my destiny be destroyed in the name of jesus every evil power having negative awareness of my destiny be destroyed in jesus name we pray lay your hand on your head and pray this prayer aggressively say every damage done to my destiny be repaired by fire in the name of Jesus. Every damage done to my destiny be repaired by fire in the name of Jesus. Every damage done to my destiny be repaired by fire in the name of Jesus. Every damage done to my destiny be repaired by fire. Be repaired by fire. Be repaired by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every evil altar oppressing me at night. Cash fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar oppressing me at night cast fire in the name of jesus every evil altar oppressing me at night cast fire in jesus name we pray say every evil covenant that is working against my moving forward break in the name of jesus every evil covenant that is working against my moving forward break in the name of jesus every evil covenant that is working against my moving forward break in Jesus' name we pray. Say, covenant that my mother made to protect my life, but is working against my destiny. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant that my mother made to protect my life, but is working against my destiny. Break in the name of Jesus. Covenant that my mother made to protect my life, but is working against my destiny. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Covenant my mother made. 
to protect my life, but it's working against my destiny. Pray in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, O oh Lord, restore me to original design in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, restore me back to original design in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, restore me back to original design in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, restore me back to original design in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, restore me back to original design in Jesus' name. We pray. Ah, uh, I want somebody to pray that prayer very well. Especially if you know that this is uh, not who you are, you know that something had happened, you know that your original design had been tampered with, you need to pray that prayer very, very well. Pray very well. Say, the enemy will not convert my destiny to rag in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not convert my destiny to rags in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not convert my destiny to rags in the name of Jesus. What I said is the enemy will not convert my destiny to rag, R-A-G-S. The enemy will not convert my destiny to rags in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not convert my destiny to rags in Jesus' name we pray. Uh, These next three prayers, I want you to pray very, very well. Let it be pray very well. Say, I refuse to operate below my divine destiny in the name of Jesus. I refuse to operate below my divine destiny in the name of Jesus. I refuse to operate below my divine destiny in the name of Jesus. I refuse to operate below my divine destiny in the name of Jesus. I refuse to operate to I refuse to operate below my divine destiny in Jesus name we pray. Say every power contending with my divine destiny scatter in the name of Jesus. Every power Contending with my divine destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every power contending with my divine destiny, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every power contending with my divine destiny, scatter, scatter in Jesus' name. We pray. Say, garment of darkness on my destiny be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of darkness on my destiny be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of darkness. On my destiny be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of darkness on my destiny be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. We pray. Bring out your bottle of oil and your bottle of water. Father, we thank you uh, for this bottle of oil and this bottle of water. We decree by the decree of the Lord that this oil shall become the oil of power. The water shall become the water of deliverance. The oil and the water shall become the oil and the water of solution. The yoke of darkness shall be broken at the application of this water and oil. This oil, I challenge you, becomes supernatural oil and becomes supernatural water. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost come upon this oil and water. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, drink a little of that water. And then anoint your head, your center head. Lay your hand on that head. You will shout this prayer with aggression. Say, I withdraw my progress from the control of envious witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my progress from the control of envious witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my progress from the control of envious witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my progress from the control of envious witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my progress from the control of envious witchcraft in Jesus' name we pray. That's a very powerful prayer uh, that you have to pray very, very well. Now anoint your chest very well and lay your hand on your chest. Say anything planted into my life by my enemy. Come out with all your roots. Spend about five minutes on that prayer. Anything planted into my life by my enemy. Come out with all your roots in the name of Jesus. Anything planted in my life by my enemy. Come out with all your roots in the name of Jesus. Anything planted in my life by my enemy. Come out with all your roots in the name of Jesus. Anything planted in my life by my enemy. Come out with all your roots. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life by my enemy, come out with all your roots. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life by my enemy, come out with all your roots. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life by my enemy, come out with all your roots. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. In Jesus' name we pray. That's a very deep one. Thank you, Father. As we are praying that prayer, a lot of strange things are getting out. Now anoint your head again 
I lay your hand on the head. See, I break every cause of backwardness in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of backwardness in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of backwardness in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of backwardness in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of backwardness in Jesus' name. We pray. See, lay your hand on your head. Say, I break every cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I break every cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough in Jesus' name we pray. I pray for somebody, any power that is wasting your opportunity in life shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. All the attempts of household wickedness to rearrange your destiny shall scatter, shall scatter, shall scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Now pray this one with aggression. You can spend five minutes, you can spend 10 minutes, you can spend 20 minutes on this single prayer I want you to pray now. Are you ready? Say, who is behind the battle of my life? Who is behind the battle of my life? Wherever you are, Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Who is behind the battle of my life? Wherever you are, receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Who is behind the battle of my life? Wherever you are, receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Who is behind the battle of my life? Wherever you are, receive open the open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Who is behind the battle of my life? Wherever you are, receive open disgrace. Receive open disgrace. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Who is behind the battle of my life wherever you are receive open this grace receive open this grace receive open this grace in jesus name we pray spend quality time on that prayer and you are going to see what god will do within the next seven days beloved we've been talking on oppression must expire oppression must expire the bible says it clearly that oppression make it a wise man mad Oppression has the capacity to make a wise man mad. Oppression has the capacity to render a wise man useless. Oppression has the capacity to make a wise man to do foolish things. When oppression is in control of somebody's life, that life will be working backward. Things will not work in that life. Frustration will be the order of the day. They will be experiencing failure at the edge of breakthrough. Most of the time, he will not be able to understand himself. And there's a lot of things that can happen. Then it can result to health breakdown. It can result to mental breakdown. It can result to marriage breakdown. It can result to financial breakdown. It can result to business breakdown. Because oppression maketh a wise man mad. To oppress means to weigh down. To oppress means to cruelly exercise power over a person. When there's oppression in, in the life of a man or in the life of a woman, there is another force that is really exercising that oppression on his life. That is why you need to pray very well that any power that is oppressing me in the dream and in the physical die by fire. Any power that is oppressing me from my place of birth, any power that is oppressing me from my place of birth, die by fire. Any power that is oppressing me from my father's house, any power that is oppressing me from my mother's house, any power that is oppressing me from where I marry from, I by fire that these are good prayer to pray. Any power that is oppressing me from this environment where I live, I by fire. Any power that is oppressing me from this apartment I am living, I by fire. These are good, good prayers that you need to take your time and pray because oppression is a terrible yoke. Oppression will make life to be stagnated. Oppression can make somebody to go and sign. He will sign a resignation letter by himself. He will type it and sign it by himself. And he's doing that. What he's doing, he does not know. By the time you ask him after he has dropped the letter, he will tell you that he doesn't know why when he typed the letter. He didn't, he didn't know why he had to type the letter. He didn't know when he signed the letter. He didn't know when he submitted the letter. That is oppression. Every witchcraft oppression against your destiny shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. There are different kinds of oppression, and we are going to go into that one later. We are going to go into deep area of different kind of oppression. Like the one I told you now, a man 
who have to go and type a letter and resign in a place of work and is doing well. Everybody is begging him, don't drop this letter. Don't drop this letter. He said, no, I need to resign. Resign to where? He cannot say. Uh -uh, why is what is happening? Uh, but he has to type the letter. He has to resign by himself. This is oppression. This is what we call witchcraft oppression. When that witchcraft oppression is coming upon a person, it comes upon me. It comes upon him like a bewitchment. He overshadow his life. He won't know what to do. He will be hearing the voice until he does what he what he doesn't what he must not do before he can realize what is going on. I am praying that every yoke of oppression. On anyone hearing me, shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Shall be broken. 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 Shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to tell the Lord to have mercy. Thank you, Father. Tell the Lord to have mercy upon you. Have mercy upon you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Take the oil, rub it all over your body where you want the Lord to touch your body. Whether you have sickness in any part of the body, rub it. As we are rubbing it, begin to say, fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into my body and deliver me from oppression in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into my body and deliver me from oppression in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost, enter into my body and deliver me from oppression in Jesus' name. Pray, say, every witchcraft padlock responsible for sickness in my life, break! In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft padlock responsible for sickness in my life. Break, break, break. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, any organ of my body presently in the witchcraft coven be withdrawn by fire. In the name of Jesus, any organ of my body presently in the witchcraft coven be withdrawn by fire. In the name of Jesus, any organ of my body presently in the witchcraft coven be withdrawn by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. You can pray that prayer. For any for your children, you can say any of my children presently tied down in witchcraft coven. I pull you out by fire. Can we pray together? Say any of my children presently tied down in witchcraft coven. I pull you out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any of my children presently tied down in witchcraft coven. I pull you out by fire in the name of Jesus. Any of my children presently tied down in witchcraft coven, I pull you out by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. If my husband, say it, say if my husband, you can say to your wife, if my wife is tied down in witchcraft coven, I pull you out by fire in the name of Jesus. If my wife is tied down in witchcraft coven, I pull you out, I pull you out, I pull you out, I pull you out, I pull you out in Jesus' name. We pray. We may need to stand in God for all these people and pray for them. The Lord help us in the name of jesus christ i pray that the lord will bless you the lord will bless your family and i pray for that sister the enemy has really been mocking you because you have been looking for the fruit of the womb for many years but i stand as a prophet of god the yoke of that childlessness is broken in your life today in the name of jesus christ you will see childlessness no more in the name of jesus Christ. now from today you become fruitful i decree be fruitful I decree multiply. I decree replenish the earth in the name of Jesus. Childlessness, go and never return into the life of that family. In Jesus' name we pray. I bless that sister uh, right now and I pray that God will give you testimony. I pray for as many people whose career is under uh, bondage, I command you to be delivered. If your business is under bondage, I command your business to be delivered. If your finances is under bondage, I command your finances to be delivered. If your head is under bondage, I command your head to be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, drink a little of that water again. The remaining one, use it to take your bath. And when you are taking your bath, you will say this one louder. Say, every garment of oppression over my life, be roasted by fire. You pray for about five minutes and you see what the Lord will do. Father, I soak every one of us in the blood of Jesus. Let there be mighty testimony in our lives and our families in Jesus' name. Beloved, you can get back to us on this WhatsApp number 0802-336-9298. Share your testimony with us. Share your concern with us. 0802-336-9298. I fellowship at Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry. Our international headquarters is at number 13 on Last Simple Street, Unique and Sabuya by Lagos, Nigeria. Here, our Father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Olukwaya, minister with special grace in deliverance, and a lot of people are being delivered and yokes are broken. God is still working wonders, and God wants to really work wonders in your life. Make sure 
that you move a step forward and receive the power of God. If you have not given your life to Jesus, oh, be a friend of Jesus so that things can work in your life. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. You can visit any of our churches. They are all around. Just visit any one of them. Uh, any one of the churches, they will be there to help you. I remain your good friend, Pastor Emmanuel Akiona. God bless you. Be good in Jesus' name.